We'll be moving ahead to our reviewer right here this morning, Chris Maduka. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, but not good morning, Charles. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Charles Chris. was agitated <coughs> when you talked about breast cancer. Oh well, yeah. I I, I should you be. You know, it's as been it's been you know it's been aligned to you know women having breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So it's rare when you hear that men can actually have breast cancer. No, I mean it's different because if again, you're a generation of Gen Z, where we have so many things happening, LGBTQIYZ. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen, so take it as one of those things. But, but I mean, if you say a, a man can have breast cancer, and I'm just wondering, can a man also feed a baby with breast milk? It's well, not about breast well, milk. That's that's not the cancer. Uh, that's not really. It's not about discussion. <laughs> here you, yeah, you have to go and watch go watch out that interview. To, yeah, to the go watch out that interview. Uh, <laughs> interview we uh, and show held on the signature television morning. Was it morning or new day? It was morning. It was okay. actually morning. It's a little morning and then uh, it's there. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll go and watch it. I'll yeah. go and watch it to, to so get, get more insights. As far as I there are see so you many things that <laughs> makes it come. As mm. far as you're not involved in some of those things. Like mm. over, over fumbling of your breast by your concubine. And it, it depends. It depends it really. I depend mean, on anything. So Charles, let's leave you <laughs> and breast cancer <laughs> and do this for my review. <laughs> So rivers is boiling, boiling and still actually. boiling. Um, nobody knows what's going to happen today because <laughs> while we woke up yesterday morning, um, we expected it because the governor had predicted that people have been mobilized to cause mayhem in the local government secretariat. And true to that, it played out. Three local government areas were burnt down yesterday. Um, parts of them were burnt down. And I'm just wondering, really, everybody is pointing in one direction. I mean, you can't fault it. But then you have the presidency coming out to say that police should provide security. That's coming out for the first time. Actually. Yeah, and I'm like, why that late? Why didn't the president, you know, make comments even before that election? Mm -hmm. And so that, you know, to, to cushion whatever spillage that that particular build-up would have. Wow. Oh, well, like I say... The way you make your mark, you lie on it. But once you sweep the truth under the carpet, there is a man in my place. His name is Ajoku Tuebu. When the bad talk stays for a long time, gather moist and then grows muko, that Ajoku, that's bad talk. Bad thoughts, bad talk, bad deeds. They do not rot him. They only grow muko. So any day you want to bring it up, you only clean up the muko. And uh, the bad talk and the bad thought and bad deeds will become as good as new. There is also a thought that the, a school of thought that believes that when a chicken <laughs> did not eat, it will scatter. That is Zibo philosophy. It's playing out. Whoever, and it's playing out in Nigerian political scenes everywhere. Once the, you, the, somebody loses election, how they lose or win is left for the umpire to decide. But there is a, that is a question for, of morality to answer. But since morals, has been swept. I've given to the dogs in Nigeria. Governance, electoral, every system in Nigeria, we put morals at the last. So nobody is talking about morals when it comes to elections in Nigeria. So it becomes the survival of the fittest. So in that survival of fittest war, whoever loses, we set fire mm. as the last resort. So it's, it's very obvious, like we predicted, the governor knew. Everybody were predicting that they, they, people are mobilizing them. Why are they mobilizing? Come to election, he said no. The police that are now being asked to restore peace, there were very video where they were going to <laughs> snatch boxes. And there were very video where they, so the police were from the word go, being fingered as not being 
objective, they were subjective. Whoever they are working for, we don't know. And we are not here to judge. So, if at this point, if at this point, like the disciples of Jesus said, Sir, he said, Sir, will you at this time restore the kingdom? If the, the IGP of police, after all this said and done, we now decide to restore peace in rivers. Good. If they are still going to play the ostrich, eh? follow human being, go kill uh, the, the spirit, and then join the spirit to go for a burial. Condolences. That is left for them. But what are we saying? Nigerians are watching. Well, it's easy we to might tell. be watching it's, it's and to become tell. helpless and not having anything to do. It's easy to tell where this is coming from. And I'm wondering why the president is not going straight <clears throat> to the matter, calling both of them you know, and asking them, you know, you know, to show to shield their sword, or better still, call his minister for the FCC. Everybody knows the story. Well, that, so why well, can't you they, just speak to to uh, you when, know his, his you FCC invite minister me to review newspaper headlines? They say rivers boil, and it's boiling because APC withdrew, faction of APC withdrew, PDP, that is this, the party of the governor, <laughs> some faction of it. We drew for participating in the election. Then the ones, AA, APP, and the other parties went to the pools. And the results were announced. And the next thing is, so you might be right to say, you, were, you know where to point fingers. Just like every Nigerian know where to point fingers. So those people know where the fingers are being pointed. So it's not from my mouth you hear that um, father wear trousers under the <laughs> kaftan. Whatever, whoever, the finger is being pointed, you know yourself. But one thing is clear. One thing is clear. Remember, River State is <clears throat> River State for you. I'm not for River State. So for as far as I know, because you want to win local government election, control party structure, control political structure, do whatever is in your mind that is personal interest. And you decide that the best thing is to get the whole of River State, put them in a ponder, set them on fire, and you have River State in your pocket. And then you went home and dry and go back to Abuja and go to tell the president, I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> and he will give you GCFON. GCFIC, you give you the highest honor in the country, you return back to River State and we have nobody to receive you. Mm -hmm. If that is what you want, go ahead. Good luck. Remember, whoever has eaten his or her brethren for dinner has gone to bed on empty stomach. And Remember, if anybody is doing this to River State people, your own people, and you want to make friend a handshake across the political handshake across, they will keep you at, they've done it to several people. Go and kill your people. They will send you to go and kill your people. They will sit down and say, if this man can do this to his own people, don't bring him close. He's a poisonous snake. <laughs> And they don't know. Let them go back in history and see those who had used their only one year is not Odogu. Mm. Whoever killed his brethren is not an Odogu. It's not a is not a, a strong man. Is not is he doesn't deserve anything good. The, among the people in Africa, they always believe that they give it a title. Ikemba. Go aside. Go do your sports. Come back home. We will give you chieftain style. But you are using your own people to show power. Let me ask you. Must everything begin and end with you? Mm. Who made you? Or oh, before God created the river state, he used it, it's your brain. 
that God used to create the river state. That's what you are telling people. Without you, there will be nothing like river state. And such people, I'm sorry, have never ended well. Well, we, we are looking from far. And all this booga, 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 I was reading some was postings of philosophical thoughts. He said, it will end in a box. Mm. All this will end in a box. There was this uh, pastor that was being interviewed over Nigeria 64 years. Uh, he said that his family plays a, a Monopoly game. Monopoly game comes in a box. When you finish playing it, you pack it back and put it in a box. He said his father told him that all oh, this thing about life we end in a box. And what is that box? That is if you are lucky to have it. Coffee. And if you are lucky to have the box will be lower than six feet. Mm. The highest time people will remember that you ever existed. Give them one month. You begin to, to become second part of the memory they hold. And that's how you think it will go like that. Go. Until you recede into history, people will not remember you again. Mm. There are people who have ruled the world, even in positive light. They are no more remembered. To talk about those who are causing palpitation and fear. When you talk about them, people are like, ah. My father said, from the house of a coward is where you still have descendants. Where people will look and say, Charles, that place that is empty bush, there used to be a strong man there. You can't pass his frontage of his house in the daytime or in the night time. He will chop you alive. From Uno New York, Jalujelube Dikaka. Dika used to live there. So why not live within the means of being a coward? All this booga dike everybody in a box. Right. In a minute, the whole thing will end. And all this all this amassing of power, amassing God help Nigerians and God help all those who think that is the best way to live their life some um papers are reported uh, three killed some are saying five killed and i thought that th those deaths would have been avoided if the president had come in earlier to at least make a statement saying that they're uh, watching scenarios and i'm just even thinking through myself the involvement of the police uh, about this whole thing from the time that it was announced that um um i next should not release the uh, voter register to RISEC and RISEC responded that they, or, they already have it because they, they had it uh, you know previously and up until when they now came and said they wanted to even uh, you know remove the materials that are supposed to be used for the elections and then the withdrawal of police on, on Sunday and on Monday the announcement of the withdrawal of police from Monday and then the attack it does look like the police basically allowed these things to happen and until the president spoke, we would have had more local government burnt. And these are some things that are quite avoidable, and it's just because of one man. And I'm wondering, can't the president, is the president scared of Wiki? Can't the president say something? And then there are some rumors about imposing um, um, emergency rule in, in, in reverse. Do you see a possibility? Well, if you start imposing emergency rule because the some talks went to set three local government. What do you? What is the reason? When you have strong reason for emergency, is it that talks? Where is the emergency rule in uh, where Boko Haram has invaded the country and taken part of the state for how many years? They're taking taxes from farmers. There's no emergency rule. What happened in Edo? There's no emergency rule. What well, I mean, in other states that are just conducted their local government election and they took it all? You begin from there, put emergency in Enugu, put in Anambra, put in Kwara, Sokoto, put in Imo. There was no chaos in those states. Who said? Who said? Nobody burnt any Who said? Who said? There was chaos in Imo. Hmm. And later he was here, you he were saying they used IED for two policemen in Anambra. Was you not in this place? You were telling me it's a new development. What was the outcome? 
Anytime there's change of government, they do all this thing. I don't know whether it's a spiritual sacrifice for these politicians. Because we thought River State would come and go without blood. Left. So if they have gotten the blood sacrifice they want, if they cannot go and rest. But if they want more, River State have money. If you see the beautiful local government, the, the area they are born in, some state houses in Nigeria are not near that. So they know what is making them bunny because with a, with a 13%, I think their own has reached 50 percent in their inflation. In two days, they will build the local government back. So go ahead and destroy, burn all the local governments in river states. Now, it's only the people that allow the state to be killed for who? I assume you are saying that sarcastically. But well, I mean, if, if it's a, people have decided to burn their states, you are stopping them. And they say the strong people are setting fire. People have said they will set fire. And the reason to set fire has come. And then they are setting fire. And then nobody is talking. It's only this morning that the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who saw this coming, is making statement. So what do you want me to say? Is it me that said they should set fire in the first place? When there's nothing, you cannot stop the fire. You help it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's uh, move ahead to another interesting one, 2027. Kwa and uh, Obi, take Obi, Kwa alliance proposal will fail. That's from APC. What do you think on that? What do you want me to say before? <laughs> it's obvious they are opposition, they are threatened. I hope that uh, the Kwa Kwa Obi and all the that structure will make this prediction come for, become a lie. There are this thing they say in my place, mother dad they call not call her. You don't want to fulfill when somebody say you're a fool, you want to behave like a fool just to fulfill the book. Prove the person otherwise. If somebody has said this alliance will not work, let LP, let NMP, P, PP, and all the people involved make it work. At least prove them wrong. So that they will know they are not God. They cannot predict is there political predictions? What makes them because there are certain uh, uh, confusion in LP, they have the moles they set up there to disorganize LP so that they will coast to home and dry. That's why they're coming out to make this statement. So it would be a shame if somebody wants to fulfill, somebody say you, you can't work, you allow it not to work, then they will go and book and say, we said it. Prove them wrong. That's all I can say on that. If, you, if I am the person involved in this, even if it did not take me to anywhere, I will still make the alliance work to prove them wrong in the first place. Then we go to the pools. If what happened in 2023 happened again, the world will still put it on record. But instead of somebody sitting somewhere, after much, um, much um, Kumu and uh, Goro, he makes some predictions and I'll come here to begin to review that. <laughs> I can as well say if nothing happens in Nigeria and then it becomes a prediction. Nigeria will remain like that. It's not like once you look up the heaven, rain start falling. It's not. My father told me that. So the politicians are free to make predictions. So I don't even give impetus to that. What was your take on the uh, alliance of two of them? The alliance we said if it comes in true spirit. Strong. We said it and gave it a lot of strength yesterday. If it comes in true spirit. It will give, gather moss and attract so much. It will show that really Nigerians are now ready to work together and not be divided along political line, along tribal line, along and the, the people, our common enemy, who are the satanic corrupt politicians are gathering on that to de still divide us further. It's high time we sit up and then think together as one, a nation of good will people and then go to war to retrieve Nigeria from the hands of corrupt and satanic people who have put us in this quagmire. If Nigerians are comfortable where they are, let's play along. Mine is a minor uh, opinion. But if what we are seeing, the suffering, what I'm suffering, we need to sit up and then think together as a people, what can we do? It's only death that doesn't have solution. Mm. Only death. But that is a problem like this political thing. People can walk across the, the, the tribal line, across the religious line, across state lines, across regional lines, 
form alliances that will become a mega force that will take back power and then dispose it. It's only when you get power you can dispose. Otherwise, all this one we are talking now, people, <laughs> the man will hold yam and hold knife. Now in the court and share. My people talk say only when they can. The man person who owns shares. And that's why we are here. So whether whatever they give to you, you take. You can only murmur and rumor and talk, talk is not the what they gave you is small in them. But when the thing is put up for a fight, if I think I can't get you alone, the power of two, the power of three, the power of four can defeat. Mm. Okay, we have here that um, now dark workers are embarking on strike. And not just that NUT, NUP, they are coming out to say uh, to the federal government, do not give our salary to local government, do not pay through local government. Do you think that all of these things happening at the same time, uh, this is the right time for it you know, to come, looking at what we are going through in Nigeria? If anybody says that their salary should not be given to local government, they are bought, they are bought agents and they don't know who they are speaking for. The constitution said the schools, some of these things are under local government. What they should be planning now is how their salary should be regular and they get it. And all the allowances are regular and they get it. What the people of Nigeria, that's why I'm telling you that Nigerians, because they do not even understand what the LG autonomy is and all, they think by state government holding their salary and paying them that is better. It's the same salary. Whoever marries my mother becomes my father. I don't care as far as he gives me food to eat, he gives me the salary. So this idea, they are just bringing confusion. Whether it's local government that has to pay your salary. Because the same money will still come there into local government. And then you can, you've heard that some some local some states in Nigeria are proposing that uh, that the, the local government people when they get the money they pay it to a joint account for disposition. Can you imagine some stupidity, selfishness? These are mind of not let go. Are they paying to back into the state uh, account of joint account that they don't know what to do with their money? That you are the most sensible person. Anybody in Nigeria can be governor of any state. Why should you say local government people? And then let me tell the local government people that what they do not know. They think that all the states, the incumbents have uh, accommodated and so that it will become business as usual. If you have been given local government chairmanship, whether it by endorsement or by election, watch out because now your head you go take career. EFCC, it's easier. They are coming. This autonomy they are talking about, they are revealing a secret for them. They are going to account for every couple. Don't think that uh, when they are sitting as a local government chairman, you will be whispering with your principal, who is the governor, because they put you there. You will be chopping local government money and not account for it. Most of them will go to jail, jail that will never come out of, and the governors will not go for you. They can prep you up to bring the money assigned to your local government and give it to them so that they will turn the power or come back on second term. It's you as the chief executive of your local government that will account for every money that comes to your local government. That's what they do not know coming. And the discussion is on and on and on and then and the, everybody is talking about local government autonomy and accountability. On Signature Television here, we bring a lot of experts to talk about it. And people think we are joking. It's what we have seen. It is not Uhuru. It's not business as usual. You can go the endorsement, yes, from your principal, they sign you off, you just go in um, Ms. Way Wood, you just to feel that you want to election and you are back there. But remember, there's a proverb in Igbo land that says, Onye Kela Anobi, Okelumo. Once they give you a portion of land in Igbo land as your own property, all the gods, all the spirits, all the ancestral spirits that are inhabiting that land is now your own. Whether they are good or bad. 
Ikela and Obi, Ikelu Mons. So Ikelu local government, whichever local government, A, B, C, or D. Ikelu go more. And when it comes to accountability, now only you go account. Mm. Governor will not come to your head. Even the, at that time, the FCC will come. If you are calling the governor, he will tell you uh, the busy, his phone will be busy. Right. I mean, um, we're almost wrapping up right now. We have just three minutes, but just to squeeze this in, uh, there are also worries about uh, increase in pump price of fuel. Um, the government is finally deregulating the downstream sector, and NNPC is pulling away from the middleman's role it used to have between the marketers and Dangote. So the marketers can now go directly to Dangote to get their fuel. So, so many people think that with this latest move, that pump price of fuel might go up again. They've succeeded. I was shouting here. They have succeeded in messing the whole process up. So, once they pull out, I've told him, I said, make the pump price 5,000 naira. NNPC, I'll pull out. Let fuel in Nigeria go at 5,000. Because you succeeded in modern things up. You never allow Dangote. All this Dangote, Dangote, until Dangote sells fuel at 3,000 naira, everybody will rest. Sell it at five. Nigeria will be better. But I'm saying, when you sell it 5,000, you come out on the street and see people. You will not say you are making a good point. If you come out of the city, you didn't see. But to the policy maker, NMPCL, they will run through the windows. Mm. I guarantee them that. There is a limit to what you can do to Nigerians. Make it, all this gra gra, they've been talking from both sides to make, to put this price out. That's what. Did I allow Idangote for one day tell us how much a litre of fuel his refining come out of? They say they are, they are uh, middlemen for us. Before Dangote could do anything, they have gone there to say that the people who will be the sole buyer. Are they not sole buying again? <laughs> Let them sole buy and sell at the price they want it to. So why are they pulling out? Oh God, God in heaven will take charge of things and judge. Uh, but but the living and the dead, though, the, that's how God judged. That Nangote had at some point said that, he, with what the NPC said at the time, that they, they bought at nine something, that that um, they bought 15 minutes less, 15% uh, less. That told Nigeria.